problem that we're going to work uh, in this chapter and this is the multiple equilibria with the pH um, and as I said this is similar to what will appear on the exam. Okay predict whether or not a precipitate will form if you mix um, lithium hydroxide with st uh, strontium chloride. If yes what is the pH needed to stop precipitation? If no what is the pH needed to start precipitation? Okay now what we're overall looking at is the reaction of uh, strontium ion plus two hydroxides to produce strontium hydroxide solid. Okay, now there are two ways to work this problem, and I'm going to work them both ways. Um, the I'm going to put um, the first way first, etc. But Regardless of before I get started with that, the first thing we have to do is get the um, concentrations of the species needed because what we're seeing here is a dilution. Our volume uh, is 35.7 milliliters plus 68.2 milliliters. So our volume total is equal to 103.9 milliliters. Okay, so our strontium concentration will do it first because I wrote it down. 35.7 milliliters times 0 0.224 molar divided by 103.9 milliliters comes out equal to 0 0.076966 whoops so we're going to use 0 0.07697 molar for the hydroxide we're going to use 68.2 milliliters of 0.182 molar divided by 103.9 milliliters comes out equal to 0 0.1194649 so we'll use 0 0.1195 molar for hydroxide okay so now that we have the concentrations the question is is whether a precipitate forms or not so the first way to do this is as a Q problem so Q is going to be equal to the strontium plus the hydroxide, uh, excuse me, multiplied by the hydroxide squared. So that's the 0 0.07697 times 0 0.1195 squared. So Q comes out equal to 0 0.0019915 which you could write it down as 1.0992 times 10 to the minus 3. So when you look at Q with respect to K, K is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 4. Q is 1.0992 times 10 to the minus 3. So Q is greater than K, so precipitation forms. So the next question is, is if yes, what does the pH need to stop precipitation? So um, we need to know when precipitation stops. Stops based upon the hydroxide ion concentration. Okay, so so we know that precipitation stops when Q is less than KSP. So that means your KSP is going to have to be um, greater than your strontium and times your hydroxide. Okay? So our KSP is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 4th is going to be greater than 0 
zero seven six nine seven times the hydroxide whoops I forgot to square it concentration squared so that means that your um, hydroxide ion squared is going to be less than um, 0 0.0041746, which means your hydroxide ion concentration must be less than 0 0.0644739. So we're going to use 0 0.06448. Take the negative log of that. 6448, which gives us um, a pOH value of 1.9, which means the pH has got to be um, less than 12.81. Okay, so basically this is the pH at which it starts. So we need it to be less than the 12.81 pH to stop it. Okay, that's the first way you can work this problem. Now, when you go to do it, if you see it on a test, and you should see it on a test, you don't have to do it both ways, but I'm going to show you. So that's the first one. Now, this is the second way. Now, one thing that both of them have in common is, is we have to use our concentrations. So remember, we did the concentration of the hydroxide. It's 0.1195, and the strontium concentration was 0.0797 molar. Okay, now I'm just writing these down so we have them. So for the second way, we know that precipitation starts when Q is equal to KSP. So, um, and pH is related to the concentration of hydroxide. So basically what we have is a KSP is equal to the strontium 2 plus times the hydroxide ion concentration squared. So we know our KSP, that's 3.2 times 10 to the minus 4. We're given our strontium 0 0.0769 and we're looking for our hydroxide. So our hydroxide ion concentration squared is going to be equal to zero, whoops, 0 0.0041746. Take the square root of both sides. And that gives us 0 0.06448 molar. And that's when the precipitation starts. So if we take then find the POH of that. POH, that's equal to 1.19. So pH is equal to 12.81. That's when pre precipitation starts. So if you look at it, um, our hydroxide ion concentration in pro the problem, which is 0.1195, is greater than the hydroxide ion concentration needed, which is 0 0.06448. So, yes, precipitation as written. But we know what the pH is. So, let pH less than 12.81 precipitation will stop. So if you'll notice, you're getting the exact same numbers. You're just coming at it from different sides of the coin.
you're either starting with the key, the amounts given and solving for Q and relating it to KSP, or you're starting with the metal that is not the variable to find out what the hydroxide ion concentration should be so that you can excuse me, calculate it forward or backwards. Okay, now you will most likely translate it to 99.9% .9 chance have one of these problems on the test. So I highly recommend you look at it. Okay, there we go. And we are done with this chapter. Ta-da! So remember, the first part of this chapter test is Monday. The last part is Friday. And then I will be uploading the um, next chapter videos.